It's lunchtime, and this is Brad Anderson's lunch break. I get invited to attend tech events all the time in Las Vegas. And whenever I can, I like to make the quick trip from Redmond and meet with other tech leaders and learn about what they're doing. On this episode of Brad Anderson's Lunch Break, I'm joined by the author of over 40 tech books and the curriculum director at Pluralsight, Don Jones. So if we were having this conversation 20 years ago, you would actually be telling me about your career as a fighter plane mechanic? I was an aircraft mechanic. I was a civilian employee uh, for the Navy, and I did depot level maintenance on F-14s and A-6s. Now what's the hardest part of, of building a fighter jet? You know, Are the instructions like the instructions you get from Ikea? N nearly. You would be surprised. <laughs> there is an entire room of three ring binders for every possible system, and there's an index and whatever you're working on that day. It is step by step. You are a huge champion of the, the DevOps approach to IT. I am. Make the case here, you know, quickly about IT and, and devs moving that direction. It's A, about moving faster, which I think everybody understands, and they struggle to tie business value to. But what it really is, is moving faster and being able to accommodate failure. The reason we don't move fast now is because we're terrified of exploding the world. And if you're doing DevOps correctly, you might fail, but you have the ability to quickly unfail as well. And whether you choose to move quickly or not, wouldn't it be nice to know that you can recover very That's quickly? Right. That's right. Uh, regardless. So, so fail fast. Yeah. Fail fast or don't fail at all, but recover quickly. You know, I think one of the biggest, like I'll tell you, even my culture and my team is a culture of, you know, a failure is, is bad. And a failure yeah. is not bad. If it's you're experimenting bad. and you're, you know, if you're rapidly experimenting and these experiments are, you know, hours or days in, in, in duration, yeah. you want you want as many of those to fail honestly as possible because you get yep. smarter, you get a little more wisdom and you move forward, but you get better. You didn't learn to not touch that pot on the stove until you touched it the first good time. Point. Failure is a good thing. You just good have point. to make it non-destructive. Yep. We're gonna play a quick game of uh, this or that. Okay. So I'm gonna give you two objects. All right. All right. Okay, so the two objects are public cloud uh -huh. and Diet Coke. Okay. A staple of most Fortune 500 offices. <laughs> Diet Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Explodes when you put mentals in it. Oh, definitely Diet Coke. There's basically a bottomless amount of it. <laughs> public cloud. Yeah. Although I'm sure if you're in Atlanta, there's a bottomless amount of Diet Coke as well. The inner workings of it are generally unknown to the general public. Uh, it's both. All right. First unveiled in 1982. What? Well, that would have to be Diet Coke. That's right. Okay. You start to question yourself. Wait, it's loud. <laughs> the two biggest producers of it are in Seattle. Oh, the public cloud. Yep. You've also got a really interesting mentoring program that you've set up. Yes, I'm very proud of it. So it's it's the DevOpsCollective.org okay. and. Like I said, I, I don't have a degree in anything, but I feel I've been able to do well in the industry. And, and IT, especially operations, is one of those fields where you can get an entry-level job without a degree, and, and a young person can make forty, fifty thousand dollars as as a help desk technician. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't see why more people don't do it. And I think it's because there's this feeling that you have to go to the expensive career colleges or whatever else. So we've put together an entire education program that somebody could run through on their own for under 600 bucks in probably about 36 weeks. And they come out of it with recognized certifications, you know, entry level stuff, yeah. CompTIA, some Microsoft. And then we have a scholarship where we, we tack mentoring and some cloud time for hands-on experience and a build your own PC oh, super kit. Cool. And it gives someone about a $10,000 experience free of charge. They get an expert mentor who's who's been in the industry for a long time and uh, they, they get a jump on a nice career. So what's that name again? DevOpsCollective.org. All right. This is one of those things that, you know, I, I think anybody who listens to this, it, you know, as they're blogging, as they're talking, send people to this site. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. Absolutely. Thank you. All Good right. seeing you. And if that was you with that free to lay job in Memphis, let me know. I will. Right. <laughs> Next time on Brad Anderson's Lunch Break, so people used to be nervous about going cloud at all. Mm -hmm. Show me it's safe. Yep. But now what I see is I have all of these companies that have you know questionnaires from their customers saying, how do I trust you in the cloud? 
and you have to like you know prove that you have DR and that you have you know backup and, and that you have good procedures that are secure but we no longer have to answer the question of how do I trust the cloud so now it's more about how do I migrate safely so when you speak at conference like this you knew this a lot can you remember what it was like, you know, uh, your first one? What what, what, it, what was oh, it like, yeah. your first time? What was going through your mind? I can tell you that. There's 300 people in the room, the lights are shining on this guy, and I'm sitting there, and I literally think I started having a panic attack. Sure. 